Today, I'm giving you 100 animated background textures for free. I would really appreciate it if you guys click that like button and subscribe. And if you want more free stuff like this, let me know in the comments down below. Now click the link in the description down below to download this pack. And all you have to do is extract those files and head on to the graphics window. If you don't see that, go to the workspace at the top, click graphics, and then you'll see essential graphics. Now click this plus button at the bottom right to install the motion graphics, navigate to wherever you downloaded and extracted, the Mogra file, and then click on KH100 Textures. As soon as you do that, it'll pop into here and you'll see it has a nice little preview and a thumbnail. If you don't see that, you can click the slider at the bottom to change the scale of your motion graphics and make sure local templates is selected. Now all you have to do is click and drag this into here and you'll see an image. But what is this actually for? So think of it like this. This is purely just a background image that is moving all over the place. And you can change that image and you have a hundred to choose from. So I typically just scroll through here till I find something that looks cool. So what's the overall purpose? Well, I use these for title cards or chapters or anything that you wanna have text on. Now you can create your own text by clicking T and then just typing your own text layer or you can simply click in on the Mogerts and drop down text and then change your font and your text to whatever you want as well as the text size. Now let's drop down the effects and see what we can do. The first thing is posterize time. That changes how often this actually moves around. So for example, it's at six right now, but if I put it to 30, you'll see that it's kind of moving faster because my amplitude is crazy. But if I lower my wiggle amplitude, you'll see that you'll start to see the image is just kind of moving around. But that posterized time at a lower rate kind of allows it to give it that stop motion look that looks pretty cool. Now jumping in here, you'll see wiggle frequency. If we change this to zero, our image will just be stagnant. Now, if you increase that, it will increase how often the image moves around and the amplitude will change how far the image moves. So if you want it to be choppy, kind of like this, just increase your wiggle amplitude. Now you can also darken your image by dragging to the right or make it brighter by dragging to the left. I typically always like to have my image a little bit darker so my title stands out. You can also blur the image. So just drag that to the right to blur the image. And once you get somewhere you like, you can actually just click around and change the image too to see if there's something else that's gonna fit your vibe a little bit more. And we can also sharpen. So you can drag that sharpen to the right, the blur to the left, or change whatever you want. And you can also invert those colors as well. Speaking of color, you can actually colorize this. So if you want something that looks a little bit more dark and red, you can do that. All you have to do is drag this change hue button and you can get the perfect color that you want. Now this is actually really cool for when we have an image that isn't black and white and you need to make it black and white. You can actually colorize it and decrease the saturation. And you can also brighten that image up or darken it in the colorize window, because if you don't have that selected, you are just limited to the darken, which darkens the overall image. You also have the ability to select this tint button right here. So if you click tint, you can actually change the color of your blacks and whites. So for example, if I change my whites to red, you'll see that on any image that I choose, my whites will now be red. There's an unlimited amount of possibilities you can make with this motion graphic. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did click that like button and subscribe for more.